Hello. You know, when I was a wee boy, I was a bit scared of shepherds. This was because the people who looked after the sheep in the Punjab tended to be Pathans, and Pathans were hillmen from the north. They would bring their herds of sheep down to the plains to, so that they could sell them, especially round about the time of the great big religious festivals. And in those days, the local people, they were taught to be a bit weary of them. I remember as a child, people saying to me that I had to be good, otherwise the Bhutans would come and get me. And I think, you know, every society and every culture seems to have its equivalent of Bhutans. People who are outsiders, people who are thought to have sort of wild and unruly ways. In the old days here in Lowland Scotland, that's how people thought of Highlanders. And in the time of Jesus' birth, the, the ones people were wary of were shepherds. Shepherds lived with their flocks, they lived up on the hills, outside the villages, outside the towns. They were rough and ready. They were not the sort of people you want to get on the wrong side of. And they were also regarded as being irreligious. You know, they simply didn't have the time to come to the synagogue on the Sabbath. They, they also didn't seem to be able to observe, well, it was very difficult for them to observe all the complex purity regulations that were demanded of honest, upright Jewish citizens at that time. All of which makes it all the more remarkable, I think, that the first people to be told of Jesus' birth were shepherds. Not only that, but it was the shepherds who were afraid. Listen to these words, which is our verses of this week. They're from Luke chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. But the angel said to the shepherds, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you, and he is Christ the Lord. Three phrases jump out at me from those two verses. The first is, do not be afraid, fear not. It's a phrase that crops up a lot in the Christmas story. In fact, it crops up a lot in the Bible, fear not. The second phrase is, good news. This is good news for you. And the third phrase is that the Saviour has been born to you. You see, the message of Christmas is that Jesus was born for everyone. He was born for outsiders. He was born for the unruly. He was born for the irreligious. He was born for everyone. He was even born for people like you and people like me. So we pray. Loving God, we thank you for the wonderful, challenging and surprising mystery of the Christmas story that displayed your love for everyone. That's why Jesus came, that's why he died, that's why he rose again, for everyone. That's why he's with us now, for everyone. So whatever we're facing, help us not to be afraid knowing that he's with us. We ask this in his name. Amen. Thank you. Have a good week. Have a good Christmas.